6.31. Our uh, top story this half hour, it was a murder that shook Bozeman back in the 1980s. For over 35 years, little was known about what happened to Randy Church. But in the past year, the case has gotten a fresh look and the family has even more hope that their brother's murder will be solved. Tins Holly Brantley has our update. Early this year, the Bozeman PD announced they were putting new energy into the Randy Church murder case. Since then, multiple agencies at the local, state, and federal level have gotten involved to help solve the murder of the 23-year-old MSU engineering student. They want to know who gunned the young man down inside the Pizza Hut in 1985. I talked to his brothers and sister about the case's recent developments that could help bring Randy's killing to rest once and for all. Look, we live this every day and have been since February of 1985. It's there. It's a part of our life and it sucks. After nearly 37 years, the family of Randy Church says they feel they might get answers to their brother's unsolved murder. If they find something now, that's great because that'd be a miracle in my book. I first spoke to the family earlier this year when they heard the Bozeman PD had fresh eyes on the case. Just a few months later, they are encouraged to learn the Bozeman detectives have joined forces with multiple agencies at the state and federal level, pulling resources to fast track solving the case. I'm frustrated. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so glad now that they are getting technology involved and they are getting more resources and and they are getting things out there it's, it's got to be an effort that's supported by you know the upper levels and i think that uh, that support up until now anyway or up until recently has not been there so. i was very surprised they never found the killer up to now i was totally surprised i'm like what this happens often where they don't find the killer are you kidding me Randy was closing down the Bozeman Pizza Hut on West Main when someone shot him in February of 1985. It was a Saturday night. Randy was alone. According to police reports, his body was discovered at 9.30 the next morning when a manager was called to unlock the door. He was supposed to meet another employee at 9 a.m., but he never showed up. He'd been wounded twice. I was told it was between the eyes. Uh, I didn't want to look at the pictures. I never did. I couldn't. It's just too much for me. How did your parents handle it? I think it changed my mom. I'll be honest. I think it changed mom. No, I think it changed both of them. <clears throat> it devastated, it both. devastated them both. Police say they can't release specifics about the current developments in the investigation or the avenues they are pursuing. But tell me, recent attention to the case has brought new momentum, new hope. I, that is the only thing we have is hope at this point. Police, along with the family, call on anyone with information to come forward. Anyone who might know something about what happened on that cold February night more than 36 years ago. I mean, literally, that'd be a miracle. But taking someone else's life, I think, is the worst that mankind could ever do and does, unfortunately. So I just hate to see someone do something bad and get away with it, especially you know, someone that I personally know and loved. There is a reward for information leading police to a suspect. To find out more, go to our website. In Bozeman, Holly Brantley, MTN News.